Hello friends, this video on improvement in food resources part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at how can we improve the crop yield, right? Now when we think of crop, what all comes to our mind? I mean, what are the different crops? I mean, I, I really don't need to explain you what is a crop and what are the different crops, but just to have uh, an introductory slide let us quickly look at the different types of crops which are cultivated and which we which we use or which we consume in our day-to-day -day life let us talk about the pulses when you think of pulses in india we mostly call it as dal right we generally have it with uh, either rice or with chapati so it is a very common or you can say it is a daily food for each of us. So in pul pulses, you have many different kinds of pulses like gram, pea, black gram, green gram, lentils. So these are the different types of pulses and the pulses are a very good source of protein. So you will often see that people say that you should eat, you should have a lot of pulses in your diet because it is a good source of protein. Again, let's talk about the cereals which form the basic food for us like rice, wheat, maize, millets, these are the cereals. Now rice and wheat I am sure all of you are aware of. When I talk of maize, what is maize? Maize is nothing but makai. This is the this is a term which most of the Indians will be familiar with, right? So this maize, millets, millets is also commonly known as bajra. So we use this as our main food for example in order to prepare rice pulao or in order to prepare uh, chapati right so these are the things which we consume in our day-to-day -day life again these cereals are a very good source of carbohydrates now as i mentioned before in order to live healthy we our body needs nutrients so it is not only just one nutrient which it needs it needs everything in a combination it needs vitamins minerals proteins carbohydrates fats everything in a correct proportion right so it is not that you keep consuming only rice and you think that only by consuming carbohydrates and leave healthy that is not possible so our uh, diet should have a combination of everything next if we talk about the oil seeds the seeds which can uh, generate oil for example groundnut castor soya bean sesame lean seed so you would have heard of this oil also the sunflower oils which are available in the market they are also obtained from these oil seeds similarly you would have heard of this castor oil castor oil often some people often put it on hair because they say that castor oil will help in hair growth right similarly you have soya beans soya beans they help in getting i mean from soya beans you not only get soya oil but you also get uh, things like soya sauce, soya chunks. There are so many things which you actually obtain from soya bean. And these oil seeds are also a good source of fats. Right? Okay. Then we have a variety of vegetables. You have green vegetables, you have colored vegetables. Right? And they are all a very good source of vitamins and minerals. And of course, we have fruits, which are again a good source of vitamins and minerals so a diet which has a combination of all of this is said to be a good diet which can keep you healthy right so these are the crops which are cultivated in fields right so now what are we going to study is how can we improve the yield of these crops how can we improve the production of these crops now how is how do we know that i mean what is the basic uh, concept behind this improvement in crop yields now since we have a variety of crops which are being cultivated and we it is observed that different crops need different climatic conditions they need different temperature they need different photo periods for their growth for example, so I talked about so many crops, right, in the last slide. But it doesn't mean that all of them needs the similar kind of environment for their growth. For example, if you take wheat, 
wheat might have its own requirements it needs a specific type of a climate it needs a specific type of temperature for its growth whereas if you take the example of uh, say cotton maybe cotton needs a completely different environment altogether so each crop will need a different type of climate a different type of temperature a different type of sunlight duration sunlight duration means the amount of time or the period of time for which it needs exposure to sunlight. Sunlight is very, very important for plants, right? Because it is in the presence of sunlight that plants prepare their food by the process called photosynthesis. So now all these requirements vary with each crop. So there are some crops which grow only in rainy season. For example, uh, maize, cotton. These are some of the examples of crops which grow only in rainy season because these crops want more water, correct? Similarly, there are other crops which grow in winter season. They don't need too much of water, but they want the climate to be cold. They want the temperature to be less. So examples of such crops are wheat, gram, mustard, linseed. These are some of the examples of crops which grow only in winter season. So now because of these different requirements of uh, different crops, we have been able to come up with some techniques which can improve the yield of the crop. So what are those techniques? The first one is crop variety improvement. Next is crop production improvement. And the last one is crop protection improvement. So these are the three techniques which we will discuss in this lesson and which are helpful in improving the yield of crops. So we will talk about each of them in detail one by one, but just a quick one-liner discussion on each of them. So when I talk of crop variety improvement, what do we do here? We actually improve the variety of the crop. That means we actually improve the quality of the crop so that the outcome which we get or so that the result which we get is of good quality. In crop production improvement, we focus on the amount of crop which is getting generated. So we ensure that more and more crops get produced. So for that, we apply some techniques again. In crop protection management, we ensure that the crops stay protected. Nobody or no outsider should come and harm the crops. Because if somebody harms the crop again, that will affect the crop yield, right? So here we will take care of the crop protection. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.